Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let's make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land, and he taught them at length in parables, and in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty and a hundredfold, he added. Whoever has ears to hear, ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you. But to those outside, everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots. They last only for a lifetime. Then when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word. But the worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection We've been taught ever since kindergarten that the Bible is the ultimate source of Christian teaching, and that from out of that, we can realize our own purpose in life. That sometimes isn't the case for me. During Mass, we may be responding and singing, but can we truly say we were listening? There were several times I fell into that. I would drift off to a thought or situation in my mind that would keep me awake or take my mind away from it. But that would end up with me not hearing anything that was said. The word was shared and given freely to everyone through the Mass, but I didn't take it. I'm not even sure if I'm the only one who did the same. Then I think to myself that somewhere sitting on the pews that day is at least one person who gained insight from this Mass. And I wish for that same thing for me. I want 
to be transformed. I want to become whole and I want to understand Him. But more than any of that, I wish that you, those listening now, could feel the same way. So to those who want that, take this advice. Look for that one word or phrase that God wants to tell you in Mass. Anything that just finally made sense or something that you felt you needed to hear today. Give it a chance, for you may never know what you might find. Listen, reflect, and grow. God is speaking to you today, and all you have to do is find His message. Let us now pray the prayer to Our Lady of Good Counsel. God of heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, Mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always seek her motherly help in this life and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. May the Holy Spirit fill us with reverence for God's creation and compassion for all God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God and may God's gifts of faith and living hope prepare us for the fullness of the world to come. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.